Hey guys, to come to the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the ringer or the silent button doesn't work anymore. So there's a couple of reasons why it might not work, but there is solutions to be able to fix that. So let's get started. So when it comes to the ringer or the silent button, usually when you press downward, this is where the phone is silent. You see that orange, yellow, amber light. If you do it up this way, that means silent is off. But sometimes maybe it gets stuck or it doesn't really actually work. First thing to do is remove any case that you have. And the reason why is sometimes the case might have worked in the past, but maybe it fell and got deformed or now it's stuck in that case itself. So remove the case. The other thing I recommend is doing is if you have a semi ejector tool or anything small enough, you want to take out any dust. Usually there's a potential to have dust build up around here. So you want to just lightly use a tool that will be able to get in there and clean out the top and the bottom as well. And I've seen a lot of times that's simple as just cleaning it out really well and removing the case and you should have your ringer or the silent button working again. Now after you have done that, it's still not working on your phone. What you want to do is pull down the control menu here, put your phone on airplane mode briefly and turn it back off. And that does a quick network refresh and also fixes the phone from having any issues that may be impacting from a software related issue that could be causing that button to not work. Now after you have done that, it's time to force restart your iPhone. So in order to force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then you're going to hold the side button here until the screen goes completely black and then you see the Apple logo reappear and then you let go of that button. So it's volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button just like that. And I want to keep on holding it until the screen goes completely black. As you'll see here, I'm still holding that side button here and I will let go once I see the Apple logo reappear. And what we have done is completely shut down the phone and have the software reload. So if there's any software related issue impacting the phone, it will resolve those issues for us. And also this method will not delete any of your personal data. So your photos, videos, apps, or should be there. It's a quick troubleshooting steps in order to get that ringer or the silent button working again. Now, after you have done that, it's still not working. Maybe you're able to toggle it on and off. It's time to reset all of your settings. So you want to go into your settings and then go to general and go all the way down here. It says transfer reset iPhone. And under that, you want to click on the first option for reset. And the reset that we want to do is the very first option, which is a reset all settings, which will reset things like network related settings. So if you saved Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connected devices, you have to reconnect them again. Any dictionary, custom dictionary, keyboard will get reset. Home screen layout. So if you had custom layout on home screen, it also get reset. And anything around your location and privacy setting will also get reset. Now this reset all setting will not delete any of your personal data. So photos, videos, apps, everything, none of them will be deleted. Only the settings themselves generally takes about a minute or two to do, but it's important to do that if you're having issues with that ringer or the silent button. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, the next thing you want to do is in your settings here, go to general again and then software update and ensure that your phone is up to date with the latest software version. The reason why you want to do that is maybe a previous version caused some issues and now the ringer, the silent button doesn't work. Once you update to the latest software version, hopefully that is resolved. And once you do the update, make sure that your phone is at least 50% or more and it is connected to a strong cellular or Wi-Fi data as you'll need about half an hour to 45 minutes to download and install. So give yourself some time. Now after you have done that and none of the method we have done has worked for you, the next thing you want to do is another step which is called backing up your phone, doing a factory reset and then restoring it again. And that method requires a little bit more work which will include another video walking you through that whole process again. And even after that didn't work, most likely it's a hardware related issue where its physical button isn't actually working anymore. It's actually hardware failure and that gets you need to get Apple to diagnose and fix that issue. But some other solutions for you to be able to kind of imitate what that ringer or the silent button does is a couple things you can do is using the control center here. If you want a phone to be silent, you can actually toggle the volume down all the way like that so that the ringer is off for you. So that's one thing that you can do. The other thing you can also do is actually go into your settings here and then you can go into uh, the actual 
accessibility option here and then under touch here you want to turn on accessibility touch you want to click on that and that will open up this uh, assistive touch and then here once you want to silent your phone you can actually go ahead and use this device management and then you can see here you can actually mute and unmute your ringer just like that as an option so that's another option as well if you want to use that now the another option that you can do here if you don't want to use that is under your touch option here in the settings instead of assistive touch if you go all the way down here is the back tap you can use either a double back tap or triple back tap and have the phone be silent or mute in that case so you can use that option so if i double tap on the back of the phone it will mute it for me so if i do a back tap as you can see ringer will be on and then ringer will be off another solution for you as well so that's another thing you can do if you like to use that as an option so those are a couple alternatives for you as a temporary solution so i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time